everybody, how's it going today? So today I'm going to do a review. Um, this is a about a six year review. Um, I bought this from Walmart. Um, the newer ones at Walmart, same model as this. They don't come with this big box anymore. They just come in a regular cardboard box and you know, you, that is what you get. This is the Bosch stick. Um, uh, set that's a BTCK 410L2. It comes with the hex driver, the drill, and two batteries. And this is the box comes in, it's pretty dirty, kind of beat up. Um, so I open it, you know, I've, I've thrown some other things in here, some buffing wheels, and so on and so forth. Uh, one battery it you can put in this slot right here the other battery it actually stays on the drill if I leave that there for a second the other battery over here So, my take on this for, it was 180 bucks I paid for both of these with two batteries. One issue I have with this um, set is you cannot buy the batteries from Walmart. Walmart sells the tools, the kits, comes with two batteries and that's all you get. Comes with, there. it's an 18 volt system. Um, and... 18 volts, 24 watt hour. They're not very big batteries. I don't even know um, if they're 2 amp hour, 4 amp hour, 3. I, I have no idea. I would assume these are probably like 4 amp hour batteries. They're, you know, standard. Any, every other company that has a battery about this size is about a 4 amp hour. Um, quick release. So my take on them is that they work really well. I used the quarter inch um, hex um, impactor to do some uh, household building. Um, I used them to build two different sheds. One was a uh, full size wooden barn, a 10 by 20 barn, and then I use this to also do a uh, a uh, seven by nine seven by ten something like that it's really small metal shed um, I use this to actually make the flooring um, it works really well it has a the quick release um, I put a lot of you know wire wheel stuff in here um, move the main drill they're actually pretty heavy um, sorry, attach this here yeah there you go so I leave a I got this from Walmart also I actually bought a few of them they're magnetic swivels I love these magnetic swivels and um, Tool in Hand, to give him a shout out, um, Tool in Hand is the one that asked me to do a review on this set. Because um, I was talking to him about uh, Stanley Drills. And Bostick owns DeWalt. Or uh, Stanley owns Stanley, DeWalt, Bostick, Black & Decker, and Craftsman now. So, but I'm going to close up. Just slide it in, it automatically locks. You can slide this to keep it from moving, or you can slide it up if you want it to swivel. But, you know, this is nice. Take the battery, plug the battery in. It's got a light. Pull 
pull up quick release. Just leave that in the box. But it's a it's a really good drill. Um, this hex uh, quarter inch hex driver is really good. It does have an impact function. Um, so if you put some weight on it um, when you're drilling like screws or nails, it will impact. It works really well. I've never had any issues with it. On the other hand, I am having some issues after almost six and a half years with the actual regular drill. And it's I'm having an issue with the chuck. But, you know, that's kind of expected. My issue with the chuck is it's it's starting to get loose in the bit. So when I put a drill bit in this chuck, for some reason, I'm having issues with it where um, I'll put the the drill bit in, I'll you know hold it, tighten it down, for an example, like that, and the drill bit for whatever reason. Grab a drill bit real quick. I usually lock it. I'll usually use the trigger to do the do lock. But for whatever reason, after the many years of uses on this, I've used this for tons of things. Um, this chuck is getting loose where I'll start drilling with the drill bit. It's nice and tight. You can feel it's nice and tight. But when you start drilling, for some reason, the chuck loosens and the drill bit starts to fall out. So that's the only issue I've had with it. Um, you could tell it's, it's pretty worn. It's, it's quite dirty. It's not clean. It's well used. And, you know, I just figured I'd, since tool in hand, but, um, you know, I watch his channel. He asked me to do a, a review on it. Um, this one is also dirty. You know. Have you gotten some use? There's some scratching and marring all over them. Uh, I'll put a link to Tool and Hands uh, channel down below on this side. I don't know if I'll put a card or I'll just put a link in the description for his channel. Um, but so far, you know, they've worked well. I haven't had any complaints other than, you know, almost seven years now. And this, the chuck just has an issue holding bits. Sometimes it doesn't do it. Sometimes I'll, I'll tighten the chuck, go to use the drill bit, and no problems whatsoever. And sometimes I'll tighten, you know, it. I more or less have issues with the bigger drill bits, you know, like the three quarter inch and up. Um, you know, and I'm not really sure why, but I think it's because the jaws the actual three jaws that come out i think when i put a larger drill bit in it these jaws are way back here inside the chuck and that might be the problem but is it worth the 180 something dollars i paid for yes it is definitely worth the 180 something dollars i paid for it um i put a, a put up a probably seven thousand dollar shed uh you know 10 by 20 barn whatever you'd like to call it you know a 300 something dollar actual shed i've done cabinet work i've done um i drilled metal <clears throat> for my truck i got a new um dual dampener system for the front end of my my truck I had to drill out the holes to make the holes a little bigger because I put bigger U um, brackets in to hold the 
plate instead of the small ones I got in the mail with the brackets and never had any issues. The only other complaint I have about this unit is after you know six years, six and a half or so, the batteries don't tend to last as long as they used to from the beginning. But you know, it does come with two batteries. It does come with the charger. The charger actually used to go right here, but I leave the charger in my tool cabinet. It does come with the charger, two batteries, um, both units. I've had no issues with the quarter inch hex driver, impact driver. The drill, you know, a couple cons here and there. It does have a it does have an adjustable transmission in it, which is right here. But I definitely think it was worth $186, $87. Um, if you have any questions, you would like to know anything further, more information, um, I would not have an issue, you know, getting you the information. It's a half inch, 13 millimeter type one, 18 volt DC. Um, it does zero to 350 to 1500 RPMs a minute. It's not an extremely fast drill. The hex, quarter inch hex driver is 18 volt DC, zero to 2800 RPMs a minute and zero to 3100 BPM a minute. Um, this one, the hex driver, is a BTC440, and the drill is BTC400. Um, the case is nice. It's got plenty of room to toss, you know, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight um, wire wheels. I have one sanding flap wheel in here. I have um, one quick um, bit exchanger. Oh, I have nine. I have one sitting right here too. I have nine of the um, wire wheels. Two batteries. Um, and the inf the instructions, informations that I've left in here. Um, it's a nice, very, very nice unit. Um, set of tools. I think it has served me well for the price I paid for it. And the box is, uh... It's a pretty good box. I even got paint on the box. But it's a nice box. It's definitely well used, dirty. But thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, and uh, please definitely go ch uh, check out Tool in Hand. Um, he's got a good channel. He does uh, lots of um, tool reviews and tool videos on Stanley um, tools. Um, and I'll see you next time.